Hello, uh, today I'm going to go over my opinion for training the serratus anterior. Um, this is just my opinion. So, we're going to start with two different understandings of active contraction versus isometric contraction. Isometric is basically like a stabilization role, basically. And an active is when you're targeting the muscle through its, its pinnation angle, the way the muscle runs and you're actually shortening and lengthening that muscle you're targeting a, a targeted isolation so with the active targeted what we can do is perform let's say a dumbbell front raise to a full range of motion the reason why i don't recommend that though is because at working weight working weight means a weight that you can slightly incrementally increase on and it be, it's progressive it's heavy enough and progressive enough that you gain muscle mass so with working weight it becomes detrimental to obviously try to hold um or to slow the end range of motion of a full front raise uh, especially with dumbbells bringing it to cables as well specifically cables are a fixed weight because they're a fixed weight that means you will, once again, be likely using some heavy weight in some awkward positioning with the shoulder. Just using this band as an example. When you perform the front raise, from this, from here to here, becomes very detrimental with, in my opinion, a fixed weight. Because it's just too janky for the shoulders. That's just my personal opinion. Janky. So... That's why I actually, if you ever consider uh, an active uh, isolation exercise, I consider resistance bands. And the reason is, is because at the top range of motion, you get the full resistance of the band. But as you bring it down, the band loses tension. It's still working weight. And it may actually go down to a point where it doesn't become working weight anymore. But it becomes far healthier on the shoulder. And it becomes far more, uh, it's a lot more incorporate, it's a lot more easy to incorporate in a full routine as it doesn't cause nearly as much deterioration as, let's say, trying to force a front raise would. Um, but my overall recommendation is not to actually do any active exercises for the serratus anterior. The reason why is, is because no matter what, if you're trying to isolate the serratus anterior, you're always going to be putting your shoulder in a weird position. Yes, you are getting scapular rotation and stuff, but it's just not the healthiest thing for the shoulder. It's a very complicated uh, ball and socket joint, so you really just don't want to mess around with it. So my actual overall recommendation is incorporating a barbell overhead press into your routine. The reason I recommend this is because it is an isometric contraction, but it's a far better loaded exercise. And obviously you're not going to use a hundred pound to do a front raise. And with this, you actually get just an absolutely great amount of activation of the serratus anterior. And the reason why I think barbell is actually better for the serratus anterior for overhead presses than dumbbell is because dumbbells give you a free range of, mo of motion. You can basically um, change the angle of the shoulders as you perform the movement. And the reason that's not the greatest thing is because for the serratus anterior specifically, um, dumbbells yield greater deltoid activation. So that means there's going to be less stabilization from the core and more stabilization from the actual deltoids, the lateral deltoid and the, the ant, anterior deltoid. So with a fixed hand positioning, um, just like with this, when you have a fixed hand positioning, you, you have to contract and hold your core much more in my opinion. Um, so it becomes a lot greater to load the serratus anterior with a loaded exercise versus trying to grow it through isolation. Um, so that's just my opinion. Thank you and have a great day.